Vanan. For the last time today, I wish you Gong Si Fa Chai. After tomorrow, we cannot say Gong Si Fa Chai anymore. Welcome. Oh, one more day? We have 15 days. Oh, 15 days. Oh. Oh, ah. So wonderful Chinese New Year celebration. For 15 days you have great celebration. All the Hindu festivals only one day. You are so blessed. Amen. So maybe all the Hindu celebrations should all follow Chinese culture. So you the Hindu the Jiaqing So we can all enjoy for fifteen days. That will make people lazy. <laughs> so we say Our God is a good God. Amen. And he always takes care of his dear people. Like I told you earlier, if you really believe the Lord your God with all your heart, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Sometimes it may appear that God has forsaken you. You are praying. You are seeking God. It seems that your prayers are not answered. It seems that God has forsaken you. It only appears like that. But He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. During my 30 years of ministry, I have tasted the goodness of God over and over again. That is why I am able to testify to you about His goodness. It appears sometimes that you are forsaken. Only appear for a little while. But before you really hit the ground, God will hold you up in His hand. Amen. Let me tell you a very interesting story about the eagle. Have you seen an eagle? Have you seen an eagle? Okay. In Taiwan, you have eagles? Taiwan, you have eagles? Yo, okay, but the most beautiful eagles are found in U.S. Called the golden eagle. But it's not golden. I don't know why they call it golden. So many names in the U.S. called golden, but they're not golden. In San Francisco, there is one bridge called the Golden Gate Bridge. Have you seen that? But it is actually red in color. I don't know why they call it golden. Anyway, I tell you something about very interesting about the eagles. When the eagle is going to lay eggs, it goes up to a high mountain. And it finds a nice spot. And begins to make a nest. The eagle's nest can be so big. Big enough to make one house. A big bedroom for one human to live there. And the nest is so deep. Several feet. And you put all kinds of sticks and twigs and to make the nest. And eagle's nest can weigh about 100 kg. 
Now, before the eagle lays the egg, 在一下蛋之前 ，it will go and find a special root. 它会去找一个特别的根 ，and you'll put the root in between the nest. 把这个根呢插在这个巢之间。This special root is to fight against the snakes. 这个根的目的呢是用来抵挡蛇。When the snake climb up, 当蛇爬上来 ，and it smells the root， 就闻到那根的味道。It will go away. 它就会走了。The snake doesn't like the smell of the roots. 这个蛇不喜欢这个根的味道。So who taught the eagle to put the root? 是谁教这个老鹰要把这个根放在它的巢中间呢 ？See, God has given the wisdom to the animals. 这是神给动物的智慧。So after the nest is made, 这个巢做好之后 ，the eagle lays the eggs. 那么鹰就下蛋。And when the eggs are hatched. 当这个蛋被孵的时候 ，small little eaglets appear， 就会有小老鹰跑出来。Very ugly looking， 很丑的。Doesn't look as beautiful as you all， 没有像你们这么美丽。You all are so chinsui， <笑>你们都很漂亮，是不是？是。<笑> And then the little eaglet grows a little big， 然后小鹰长大一点。Then now comes the time for the eaglet to fly. 现在小老鹰应该学飞了。So either the father or the mother will teach the little eaglets how to fly. 所以，呃，父亲或者是母亲其中一位教导小老鹰来飞。So how does the mother teach the bird? 那么母老鹰怎么教小老鹰呢 ？You will carry the little eaglet on its shoulder. 他就把这个小鹰呢带在他的肩膀上。And it will fly high up into the sky. 飞到高高的天上去 ，at about thirty thousand feet， 大概在三千尺。Maybe not so that high, you know. 也许不是那么高。And as it's flying， 当它飞的时候 ，and the little eaglets now sitting on the mother's back， 本来坐在母亲背上的小老鹰 ，sees all the nice place， 就看到很多好的地方 ，and is enjoying the view， 它喜欢它所看见的。While it is enjoying， 它正在享受它的风景的时候 ，now the mother will look at the bird and say。那个母老鹰就见着小鹰说 ：“My dear son， 我亲爱的儿子 ，Are you ready to fly？ 你预备好要飞了吗 ？”Because the little bird doesn't know what's going to happen next。那当然了，小老鹰也不知道接下来要发生什么事儿。Yes， mummy。是的，妈妈。<笑> as soon as the bird say yes， mummy， 这小老鹰一这样说的时候 ，And the mother will turn his back。然后这个母亲就把背一翻 ，And the little eagle will fall down。这个小老鹰就掉下来 ，And he doesn't know how to use his wings。不知道如何用翅膀。As it is falling down， 它掉下来的时候 ，It looks up at the mother。它看着母亲。The mother is flying around。那个母亲在它四周飞来飞去。哎呦，妈妈！妈妈呀 ！You are so wicked。你好邪恶。You are so bad。你很坏哎。How can you drop me down？ 怎么可以把我丢下来？哎呦，亚索 ！The little eagle will cry。这个小老鹰就在那儿哭了。亚索 ，help me！ 亚索，帮助我吧。妈妈。Eagle start crying. This eagle is starting to cry. Just as it is about to hit the ground, it is about to fall to the ground. The mother comes, zoop. Mother comes to help it. Carries the little eagle. 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 And then the mother looks at the bird. 那么这个母鹰看小鹰。Don't worry, my son. 我的儿子别担心啦。I will not leave you. 我不会离开你。I will not forsake you. 我不会丢弃你。Then climb up again. 然后它又飞起来了。And the eagle, little eagle, feel hallelujah. <laughs> 小老鹰说 hallelujah. Safe now. 现在安全了。Then the mother fly again. 这个母亲又飞啊。Uh, go up. 又往上飞。Drop it one more time. 又把它丢下来。哎呦 ，all over again. 又来了。The eagle will fall down. 那小老鹰又掉下来。Again, he will start crying and shouting. 他开始又大哭大叫。哎呦，妈妈。妈妈呀。Why you so wicked and cruel? 你怎么又不残忍些了 ？Before it hits the ground. 它掉在地上去之前。It will scoop up. 他又把它救起来。Now this process is repeated again and again and again until. 那么这个过程就重复、重复、重复，一直到。The little eaglet opens its wings and starts to fly. 小老鹰打开它的翅膀，开始飞。In the same way. 
同样的 ，See when the eagle drops the little bird， 当这个老鹰把小鹰丢下来 ，The mother knows that it will protect the baby。这个母婴知道他会去保护小鹰 ，But the baby doesn't know the mother is going to protect。可是小老鹰不知道母婴要来保护他。The baby is thinking。这个小老鹰在想，哎呦 ，My mother has forsaken me。哎呦，我妈把我丢了。I'm going to crash to the ground。等一下，摔死了。When I hit the ground。当我摔在地上。I'm going to become like an omelet。我就会像一个蛋卷一样。So the baby will be thinking like that。他就会这样想。But just before it hits the ground。在他掉到地上之前 ，The mother comes and scoops it up。母亲就来把他救起来。This is how God deals with us。这就是神对付我们的方式。He will never leave us nor forsake us。他不会离开我们，也不会丢弃我们。Amen。Just when you thought all is over。以为当你以为所有一切都完蛋了。When you think that God has forsaken you。你觉得神已经丢弃了你。He never leaves you。他永远不离开你。Never forsakes you。永远不丢弃你。Sometimes God just hides behind。有的时候神只是躲起来。Tell you this one story。给你讲一个故事。One day a mother and her little son went into the park。有一天妈妈跟她的小儿子去到一个公园。And they were looking at all these nice flowers。他们就看这些美丽的花。Oh, this flower red color. Oh, this flower gray color. Oh, this is a strange flower. 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 Oh, this is a strange She's so happy when I'm talking about her. 我讲讲这个小女孩的时候，她高兴极了。阿门，阿门，阿门。So as they were all looking, 当他们都在看的时候 ，the little boy was so engrossed looking at all the flowers. 那么这个小男孩呢，完全被那花所吸引。The mother went and hide behind some bush. 然后呢，母亲就躲起来。And when the boy Took his eyes to look for his mother. 当这小男孩开始找他妈妈的时候 ，He could not find the mother. 他就找不到他的母亲。He was looking, Mama, Mama, where are you? 他就到处找说，说妈妈你在哪里 ？All the while, the mama is at a safe distance, keeping an eye on the son. 他在寻找他妈妈的时候呢，这个母亲就在看着他。Her eyes are always on the son. 他的眼睛总在他儿子身上。She's just hidden. 他只是躲起来。And when the boy was about to break down and cry, 当这个男孩子。就快快要开始哭了。Then the mama came out. 妈妈就跑出来。Hug the boy. 拥抱他。My son. 我的儿子。I'm here only. 我就在这儿。I've never left you. 我从来不离开你。I never forsake you. 我也不丢弃你。In the same way. 同样的。Sometimes God seems hidden. 有的时候神好像被隐藏。He purposely hides himself. 他故意把自己隐藏起来。So that we always value God. 我们总会想说神啊，你在哪儿 ？We are always honoring God， 所以我们一定要总是尊荣神。Don't ever treat God lightly， 不要轻忽神。When you do that， 当你这样做 ，His presence is withdrawn from you。当你轻忽神，神的同在就离开。Sometimes this happens because God wants us to know or teach us to always rely on Him。有的时候这件事发生是因为神要教导我们总是依靠他。He never leaves us nor forsakes us。他永远不离开我们，也不丢弃我们。Amen。Amen。So this belief you must have in your heart。你必须要在你心中有这样的信念。That is why I told you on the first day。所以在第一天我告诉你。Establish in your heart that God is a good God。在你心中要确认神是位美善的主。You must build up a belief。In this one simple truth, you 必须要在这个简单的真理里面建立这个信念。This is not a deep theological doctrine. 这不是一个死的教义。A、simple truth. 简单的真理。That God is a good God. 神是位美善的主。He will never leave me nor forsake me. 他永远不离开我，也不丢弃我。Amen. Amen. For many many years, 许多许多年以来 ，I read the Bible when Jesus cried. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 
我读圣经的时候，每次看到这个诗篇说我的神，我的神，你为什么丢弃我 ？I used to wonder why the Lord prayed like that。我就想为什么主你要这样祷告呢 ？Because he's so close to the Father。因为他跟天父如此靠近。Whenever he prays， 什么时候他祷告 ？The glory of God comes down to talk with him。神的荣耀就降下来跟他谈话。And he himself said, "I and my Father are one." 他自己说，我与我父原为一。Then if they are one, 那他们既然是一 ，Why he is crying like that? 为什么他会有这种哭求 ？So I always used to wonder. 所以我就在想。And God answered this question to me in a very, very marvelous manner. 神以一种非常奇妙的方式来回答我这个问题。In 1986. 一九八六年 ，I went to a place in India called Ladakh。我去印度叫 Ladakh 的一个地方。Have you heard of Kashmir？ 有没有听过 Kashmir 这个地方？有没有 ？Place of heavy fighting。在那里有很大的战斗。Ladakh is a state in Kashmir。Ladakh 就是在 Kashmir 里面的一个地方。One hundred years ago, Ladakh belonged to Tibet。一百年以前 ，Ladakh 这个地方属于西藏。So the people who live in Ladakh are exactly the same like the people people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, in Ladakh, the people of Tibet are exactly the same like the people of Tibet. So, No vehicle goes there. 没有人去那里。You have to walk by foot to go there. 你一定要自己走去那里。And the whole land is at an altitude of 12,000 feet. 啊，它的高度呢是一千两百英尺这么高的高度。So for 12 days I walk in the land. 所以你不能坐车上去，你只能走上去，走十二天。420 kilometers. 四百二十公里。And we walk. From village to village. 我们从一个村落走到另一个村落。In that wilderness, the villages are not close by. 在旷野的当中呢，村落与村落之间是很远的。At seven o'clock in the morning, when we start our journey. 早上七点钟我们开始行走的时候。There is one village. 有一个村落。And then, after walking for five hours. 然后走五个小时之后。Then you find another village. 又找到另外一个村落。Then walking another five hours. 再走五个小时。Find another village. 又发现另一个村落。Sometimes after walking for 30 kilometers， 有时候走三十英里。There's no village， 一个村落都没有。So we have to sleep on a in a cave， 就睡在山洞里。Or by the riverside， 或者睡在河旁边。This was my journey in that Ladakh。这就是我在拉达里面的一个旅程。So one day， 有一天 ，we had to climb up a high mountain。我们必须要爬到高山之上。And that mountain is at 17,000 feet。哦，那个山呢是一千七百英尺。So we reached near the mountain at three o'clock in the afternoon. 下午三点钟快要达到。So in the summer, the clock, the sun does not set early. 在夏天呢，呃，太阳不是这么早下山。Till about eight o'clock, there's sunlight. 八点钟的时候还可以看到阳光。So my associate told me. 所以我的跟我一起去旅行的告诉我。Let's camp here. 我们在这里扎营吧。We'll cross the mountain in the morning. 那早上我们就过山。So I looked at my clock. 我就看着我的钟表。Only three o'clock. 才三点。So I told him. 我就告诉他。Three o'clock. 才三点。The sunlight will be there for at least another four hours. 还有这个日光，我们还可以用四个小时。Let's cross the mountain. 我们就过去吧。Then we can camp at the valley. 然后我们就在这个山谷里面扎营。So he was not willing. 他不愿意了。But I forced him. 可是我强迫他。Come on, let's go. 我说走了。He was not willing because he was a much older man. 他不愿意，因为他很老。So I being younger, I had all the energy. 因为我比较年轻啊，所以我有所有的这个精力。So I forced him. Come on, let's go. 我就强迫他，我说走了， so、走了。Started climbing. 我们就开始爬。You know the mountains in Tibet are not like the mountains you see in Taiwan. 在西藏的山跟在台湾的山是不同的。They are very steep. You have to literally climb like this up. 就好像真的是这样爬上去的。They are not slope that you climb like this. 它不是一个坡，你可以走上去的。When the mountains are steep, 当这个山坡是很陡的。Every step that you take, 你所踏的每一步 ，is great difficulty. 都很困难。And the air is so thin. 而且那个空气很稀薄。You cannot breathe. 不
能够好好呼吸。So every step you take, you have to rest for ten minutes. 你踏一步要休息十分钟。So as we were climbing up. 所以当我们爬上去的时候。The clouds began to get darker. 云就变得越来越黑。You know, in Tibet, the weather changes rapidly without warning. 西藏的天气呢是突然之间就变了。One moment is sunny. 一下出太阳。In just next minute, it becomes dark and begins to snow. 下一分钟呢，变得又黑又下雪。Totally unpredictable weather. 完全是无法预测的天气。As we were climbing, 所以当我们爬的时候 ，clouds all began to get dark. 这个云就越来越黑。So a storm is about to break out. 有大风雪快要来了。So I told my associate. 我就跟我朋友说。Come on, walk faster. 快走快点。The storm is going to come. 有风雨来了。And he looked at me. He said. 他就看着我。I told you don't climb. 早就告诉你不要爬了嘛。I told you let's wait there. 我就跟你说我们在那里就好了。So、don't worry. 说不用担心。We'll quickly climb over. 我们很很快的爬过去。And just as we were about to reach the top, 我们快要爬到山顶了。A huge thunderstorm broke. 一个极大的暴风雨就降临了。And hailstones began to drop. 就下冰雹啊。And you know hailstones are not very small. 那里的冰雹不是很小的。You have hailstone rain in Taiwan? 在台湾有冰雹吗？有没有 ？OK, sometimes. 有的时候。对不对 ？Not all the time. 不是总是。In Tibet is all the time. 在西藏总是。If it rains, 假如它下雨 ，is always hailstone. 总是会有雨，然后有冰雹。And we don't have an umbrella. 有没有雨伞？ We don't have any protection. 没有任何的保护。I was just dressed dressed like this. 我就穿这样的衣服。So it broke. It broke. The rain broke. 啊、uh, ，就是它就开始就是下大雨啊。Big stones were dropping down from the sky. 这时候呢就会下那个冰雹很大，然后还有大石头。It began to hit the face. 然后它下下来的时候呢，就会打到你的脸。Extremely painful. 非常非常痛。So we have to cover the head. 我们必须要把头遮起来。If you cover the head, 假如你遮了头 ，you cannot see where you are walking. 你就根本就不知道你走到哪里去。And the storm was so thick. 因为这个暴风雨太大。You can see only three inches from your eyes. 你只能看到眼前三寸的地方。So somehow we reached the top. 不管如何，我们到了山顶。When we reached the top, 一到之后。Oh, God did a great miracle. 神做了一个神机。There were a few houses on the top. 在那个山顶有几个房子。Isn't God good? 神不是很好吗 ？Hallelujah. Wait. 等一下。I haven't finished the story yet. 还没讲完。Ah, wait. Before you say Hallelujah, listen to the story. 说 Hallelujah 之前要先听完。So I went to the house. 我就去了那个房子。Knock on the door. 敲门。The first door was open. 第一个门打开。Big Tibetan woman. 有一个呃，身量身材高大的这个西藏女人。So since it is in India， 因为她是在印度 ，They all could speak the Indian language， 所以他们也会说印度话。So I told her， can you just stay in your house till the rain is finished？ 说我们可以待在你的房子一直到雨下完。As soon as I said that， 我这样一说 ，Bang！ <笑> She closed the door。门就关了。哎呦 ，Why? What did I say wrong? 我说错什么话吗 ？So we went to the next house. 我们去下一个房子。The next house. 下一个房子。The next house. 下一个房子。Everybody bang on the door. 每一个人都对我们关门。Finally, I found a house. 终于找到一个房子。I opened the door. 我打开门。Nobody was staying there. 啊，没有人在里面。I said Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God kept a door. 神还为我们开个门。God kept an open door. 给我们一个敞开的门。Isn't God good? 神很好吗？ Wait. 等一下。Wait. Wait. You hear the whole story. 听完整个故事吧。When I entered into the house, 当我进入这个房子 ，I realized why it is empty. 我知道它为什么是空的。It is a roofless house. 原来它没有房顶。So no use. 所以没有用。The rains were increasing stronger. 有很强很强的雨不断下下来。And because I was just dressed like this, 因为我只是穿着这样 ，I was drenched. 这个湿透了。And the cold and the rain so begin to get into my body. 这时候呢，这个冷风啊，又加上这个雨，就跑到我身体里。You know, in that height. 在那种的高度。The winds are so cold. 这个风是非常冷的。They go through your skin. 它会穿透你的皮肤。And they touch your bones. 可以吹到你的骨头。You don't just, you don't just feel the cold. 你不是
感觉到冷。It goes into your bones. 进入他你的骨头嘞。And I was freezing in the bones. 我的骨头都发冷。So as we were sitting in the house. 当我们坐在房子里。We didn't know what to do now. 现在不知道该怎么办了。And I heard some sounds. 我就听到声音。Of a bell. 有铃的声音。叮咚叮咚叮咚。What is that? 叮咚叮咚。这个叮咚是什么呢 ？So we came out. 我们就出来。Ah, we saw one Tibetan priest and a big yak. 我们看到一个呃西藏的祭司跟一个大牦牛。So the Tibetan priest was bringing the yak going somewhere. 西藏祭司要带这个牦牛去到某个地方。So I asked the priest, "Where are you going, sir?" 我就问说，哎，先生，那你要去哪儿 ？He said, "I'm going down the mountain." 我要下山去。So I asked him, "Do you mind we follow you?" 我们跟着你走好不好 ？He said, "No problem." 没问题。But we can see where we're going. 可是我们根本看不到我们要去哪儿。So the monk told me. 这个和尚告诉我。Hold the yak's tail. 那么你就抓住牦牛的尾巴。And walk slowly. 慢慢走。So I went and I held the yak's tail. 我就抓着它的尾巴。And for a few steps, the yak was so good. 走几步还不错。Then I didn't know what the yak thought. 那我后来不晓得这个牦牛在想什么。It shook its body. 它就一直转它的身体。And let push my hand away. 然后呢，就。他的尾巴就把我手给甩走了。Even the yak forsook me. 牦牛都不要我。And then he quickly disappeared somewhere. 后来就突然不见了，不知道他去哪里。Now we are stranded. 现在我们不知道在哪里。And my associate, he went ahead with the monk, and he disappeared. 因为我的朋友呢，他就跟着那个和尚走了，所以他也不见了。Now I'm all lost. 我现在真的不知道我在哪儿。On top of the mountain. 在山顶上。The heavy hailstorms dropping down. 这个大的冰雹还不断的下下来。So there's only two things to do. 现在只有两件事可做。Either I die on the mountain top. 一个呢就是死在山顶。Or somehow God save me. 第二个呢就是不管用什么方法，神要救我。So I pray. 我就祷告。Oh Lord Jesus. 我说主耶稣。Please help me now. 请你现在帮助我。And I heard a voice in my ear. 我就听到在我耳朵里的声音。Okay, go forward. 往前走。So I stop walking. 我就开始走。Then I hear a voice. 我又听到一声音。Turn right now. 现在转右边。Walk now. 现在走。Slow down. 慢下来。And turn left. 向左转。All the way, I clearly heard a voice in my ear, like how you are hearing my voice. 我听到了这个声音，一路上就像你听到我这么清楚。From the mountain top to the bottom of the valley. 从山顶到山谷。The Lord Jesus guided me. 主耶稣引导我。And I safely reached the valley. 我很平安的到了山谷。And I looked up. 我就往上看。Wherever the Lord told me to turn left or right. 当主告诉我转右或转左的时候。That was the time the road was bending. 那就是路弯的时候。If I miss God's voice. 假如我错过他的声音。I would have fallen down seventeen thousand feet. 我就从一千七百英尺上面掉下来。So when I reached to the bottom, 当我到达山谷 ，I was so cold. 我好冷啊 ，shivering so bad. 大力颤抖。Medical science calls this sickness hypothermia. 啊，那么医学上就称我这种症状叫高山症。And death can take place just like this. 就是很容易就会有来不及呼吸。And I was I was all alone there. 我在那儿就那一个人。I didn't know where to turn now. 现在不知道该去哪儿。And at that moment, 在那个时刻 ，I looked up and I cried. 我就往上哭求了。My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 我的神啊，我的神啊，你为什么丢弃我 ？One moment I'm crying out. 我一会儿哭泣的时候 ，Another mind of telling me. 我的头的另外一边就告诉我。This is how Jesus also felt. 哦，这就是耶稣的感觉了。You came here to do God's will. 你来这里行神的旨意。He also came to do God's will. 他也来地上行神的旨意。But at the moment of weakness. 可是，在那一刻。Even Jesus cried out like that. 就算耶稣，他也会这样的哭求。And when I cried out. 当我向上哭求。A voice came all the way from heaven. 有一个声音从天上降下。I will never leave you nor forsake you. 我永远不会丢弃你，也不会离开你。So after the voice had spoken. 这个声音说完之后 ，two Muslim nomads came running. 那么两个穆斯林，他们就跑得过，跑过来。They looked at me. 他们看着我。They started speaking in a different language. 跟我说一个话，听不懂。They have their own language. 他们自己的话。I didn't understand anything. 不晓得什么意思。
But later on, I found out what they said. You're going to die. Come and get up. And walk. I said, how can I walk? I'm so weak. Carry me. He said, no. You walk. They were so rude and arrogant. And I didn't know what they were talking. They were just shouting. I said, Yasuo, Ayo, please help me now. Suddenly I felt to speak in unknown tongues. And when I began to speak in unknown tongues, I was speaking in his language. And when I spoke in his language, oh, they became quiet. And they said, Sir, Please come. Please come. I don't know what I told them. They began to respect me. Say, sir, please come. And they say, come on, run now. Run. I said, I, I'm so tired, you're asking me to run. Say, please run. Later on, I found out why they asked me to run. To build up heat in the body. Because I was so cold. I said, run now. And they push me. Run. So after running for one kilometer, <laughs> every step I'm taking, I am praying, oh Lord, when will this finish? They push me. Run, run, run. See, their intention was to save me. The treatment seemed cruel. If they had carried me, my body would not have heat. And I would have died. So when they forced me to run, the body began to build up heat. So then we reached a camp. There were about 20 shepherds. Muslim shepherds. And the chief of the shepherds. An older man. Very kind and gentle looking. As soon as he saw me, he said, Please come and sit by the fire. And for five hours, they made me sit by the fire. And they gave me tea cups, many cups of tea. Big cups. Big cup. And said, drink. Huh? Drink. Huh? My bladder was so full. <laughs> I said, no more. No, oh, you drink. For five hours, they make me drink and drink and drink. Their intention was to bring my temperature down. And then they told one story. They were not supposed to camp there that day. They were supposed to go far away. As they were walking, now the leader told me, he felt in his heart, something was telling him, camp here. So he told all his other shepherds, let's camp here. They all told the leader, but we, this is not the place. Let's go to the other place. If they had gone to the other place, they would not have saved me. See, God sent them there to save me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, God never leaves nor forsakes us. Amen. So remember this all throughout this year. Whatever difficulties you will face, remember this. God never leaves nor forsakes. Amen. Let us all stand up for a word of prayer.